Nameless in a sea of the dying and shameless uh, A sea of the aimless I don't wanna be one of the nameless I'ma wake up with the mindset that one day I'm gonna make it And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, 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 yeah. under two weeks away until Wrestlemania. Tonight, Friday Night Smackdown is on the road to the grandest stage and the world heavyweight champion, the man who will defend the gold against the number one contender, Drew McIntyre, on Wrestlemania Saturday in Tampa Bay is set for action inside that squared circle later tonight. Seth Freaking Rollins has got a meeting with the strange and unusual, the deranged Dexter Loomis. He's hot off a win over Happy Corbin on Saturday night's main event. Can he dethrone Seth Rollins and build some momentum for himself? We will find out later tonight here in Portland. But we kick things off with the glorious Robert Roode, who has taken issue with the franchise John Cena as of late. Nothing personal, all business says the glorious one he wants a road to wrestlemania and he sees one through the franchise player of world wrestling entertainment will john cena accept the open challenge of robert rude remains to be seen but nonetheless we are set to kick us off here on smackdown It was two weeks ago here on SmackDown, Seth Rollins one-on-one -on -one with John Cena in the main event. Cena coming off the top rope there, but then was taking his eye off the ball by Robert Roode. Roode never made his way down through the arena, but his music played. You see his Titantron there, obviously taking John Cena's eye off the ball. And this allowed Seth Rollins to come from behind, take advantage of the franchise, and ultimately defeat John Cena inside that very ring. Robert Roode last week sent out a tweet during Friday Night SmackDown that stated simply he wants a match with John Cena at WrestleMania. Robert Roode wanted a path to the grandest stage of them all and he, in his eyes, has found one by targeting the franchise player of WWE. Still remains to be seen if John Cena will accept that challenge. We haven't heard from Cena or even seen him here on Friday Night SmackDown since his matchup with Seth Rollins two weeks ago. But nonetheless, Robert Roode is back in action here tonight, and he is set to go one-on-one -on -one with the charismatic enigma of the WWE, Jeff Hardy. Things have not been going the way of Jeff Hardy as of late. He failed to qualify for the Elimination Chamber. He failed to dethrone Bobby Lashley for the United States Championship. But will tonight be the night that Hardy starts to rebound and pick up some newfound momentum here on SmackDown? And his opponent... From Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 225 pounds, Jeff Hardy! Well, next time we come your way for a live premiere, it is a back-to-back -back weekend, Saturday night, February 25th, Sunday night, February 26th. It is coming up close, 5 p.m. Eastern time on both nights for the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania! Raymond James Stadium, Tampa Bay, Florida is going to be rocking. We're going to run down everything announced thus far for WrestleMania later tonight for both nights, Saturday night, Sunday night. It is going to be an epic weekend to conclude what has been an amazing year here in the WWE. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below as we are watching an all new episode of Friday Night Smackdown on the road to 1,000 subscribers. And when we hit that goal, channel members We'll have exclusive access to special live events, including house shows and Saturday night's main events. A whole lot more information coming there, so hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already as we kick off SmackDown from Portland on the road to WrestleMania. Robert Roode and Jeff Hardy, no strangers to each other. 
They've gone one on one all around the world and now meet again here tonight on the blue brand. You gotta wonder, is John Cena gonna accept the challenge of Robert Roode? Cena and, or excuse me, well, yeah, Cena and Robert Roode's eyes has a clear cut path to, to WrestleMania being that he is the franchise player, the face of WWE, whether he's a champion, whether he's coming off a loss at the end of the day, John Cena, a man celebrating 21 years in WWE, you gotta imagine is gonna be on that WrestleMania marquee. And Robert Roode wants to be standing across the ring from the 16 time world champion. Will that do? Will that happen? We will find out in due time. Nonetheless, Robert Roode bringing the fight to Jeff Hardy. We talked about Jeff Hardy suffering some big time losses as of late. He date back to the Friday Night SmackDown before the Elimination Chamber. It was actually Robert Roode and LA Knight who defeated Jeff Hardy and the Hurricane in a tag team Elimination Chamber qualifying matchup. In the following week on SmackDown, Jeff Hardy with a big opportunity as he accepted the open challenge of Bobby Lashley for the United States Championship, put up one hell of a fight, but was ultimately cut in half by the Almighty. Jeff trying to get back into this thing. And speaking of Bobby Lashley, it was just last week here on SmackDown that we determined his number one contender for WrestleMania Sunday. For the first time ever, Bobby Lashley goes one-on-one -on -one with the ring general, Walter, wait a minute! Jeff Hardy over the top rope, sunset flip and continuing the offense on the outside. The extreme enigma throwing caution in the wind tonight, all in the means of getting his hand raised to kick us off. But nonetheless, as we mentioned last week on SmackDown, Imperium's ring general, Walter, outlasting Tyler Bate, two former NXT and United Kingdom champions, reigniting an old rivalry and putting up one hell of a fight inside of that squared circle. And on WrestleMania Sunday, it will be Walter versus Bobby Lashley for the first time ever for the United States Heavyweight Championship of SmackDown. Rude heading back into the ring. Both these men going for shots. Both of them missing. Rude with a chop here. But Jeff Hardy never count out the future Hall of Famer. Jeff Hardy wants to get back to the grandest stage of them all himself. And who knows? Maybe he looks at this matchup against Robert Rude as an opportunity to defeat Robert Rude. Maybe Jeff will want to fight Jeff or John Cena at WrestleMania. Who knows? But a twist of fate there. Could have just hand him the victory. Oh, so close for Jeff Hardy. A twist of fate drives Robert Roode face first off the canvas, but it's not enough just yet. Jeff heading to the top rope, but Bobby Roode right there to break things off. Here comes Hardy with the crossbody, but Roode catches him. And oh no, look at the strength from Roode as he sends Jeff Hardy for a ride over the top rope to the outside, and Robert Roode gonna soak it in here in Portland, Oregon tonight. That was a hard fall for Jeff Hardy, but he's no stranger to those. Back to his feet and gonna keep swinging until the bell sounds. Speaking of swinging, there's a swinging neck breaker from the glorious Robert Roode, who charges at Jeff going for the hangman's neck breaker, but Hardy gets out of the way. Hardy back to the top rope. I think he wants that swanton bomb and Rude is trying to avoid it at all costs. Snap in the neck of Jeff Hardy. Nice move by Rude. You may not like the actions of Robert Rude. You may not like his attitude, but at the end of the day, he is known to produce results inside of that squared circle. A former tag team champion, former United States champion, former NXT champion is Robert Rude here in World Wrestling Entertainment. Jeff Hardy missing off the moonsault there, and Robert Roode going to capitalize. And also still to come tonight on SmackDown, we will have the semifinals of the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, a matchup that will determine who moves on to WrestleMania into the finals of said tournament. It'll be Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza of Legado del Fantasma taking on Mustafa Ali and Ricochet. Meanwhile, Robert Roode off the spine buster to put away Hardy, not just yet. Jeff Hardy will not stop fighting until his heart stops pounding. What a spine buster that was. Jeff Hardy's got to be feeling it. Oh, wait a minute. Robert Roode's going for the kill. Pump handle slam and immediately into the cover. And Robert Roode picks up a hard fought victory here to kick us off on SmackDown. Another tough loss for the extreme enigma. Jeff Hardy really starting to add up as of late, but nonetheless, Robert Roode producing another result and getting his hand raised here in Portland. Now, wait a minute. 
Hey, Jeff Hardy still down and out, and Robert Roode, come on now! Trying to make a statement and possibly send a message to the man he wants to fight at WrestleMania, that being John Cena. Robert Roode putting this match up. Oh, wait a minute! Speaking of John Cena, it seems that the franchise is in the house. John Cena appearing here on the blue brand for the first time since his loss to Seth Rollins two weeks ago. And it was all due to the hands of the glorious Robert Roode. Roode looking to put the hurt on Jeff Hardy, but the franchise has got something else in mind. And Cena looks focused tonight, focused on possible retribution on the road to WrestleMania. Robert Roode couldn't have been expecting this just yet. John Cena hitting the ring. Oh, wait a minute. Roode, Roode's looking for a fight. Go for the spine buster and Cena, however, making sure that ain't gonna happen. Oh no, up, down he goes. Attitude adjustment by John Cena. And if you ask me, I'd have to say that the WrestleMania challenge has been accepted. John Cena got the attention of Robert Roode tonight. And it feels to me that we have a one-on-one -on -one meeting set for the grandest stage of them all. We're back live in Portland, Oregon for Friday Night Smackdown on the road to WrestleMania. And we are set for a one-on-one -on -one cruiserweight affair. Former champion of the cruiserweight division, Akira Tozawa battles another former champion in the leader of Legado del Fantasma, Santos Escobar. This should be a great matchup here on SmackDown. And his opponent representing Legado del Fantasma from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. Well, Santos Escobar has certainly been gathering the attention of many as of late here on the blue brand, dating back to over a month ago, almost a month ago, when him and Dominic Mysterio went one-on-one -on -one inside of that ring, and it was earlier that evening that Santos had ambushed Dominic in the backstage area. Dominic had a fire under his ass on that night and was able to knock off the former champion Santos Escobar. Escobar then won one on one with Tyler Bate two weeks ago here on SmackDown in a rematch from well over a month ago where Santos Escobar lost again to Tyler Bate. And then later that evening, cameras rushed to the back where Santos was taking out his frustrations on Dominic Mysterio yet again. And then most recently, Escobar hit the ring last week here on SmackDown and ambushed the Cruiserweight Champion, Rey Mysterio. So whatever Escobar's got in mind, you gotta wonder, it's all due to him wanting a Cruiserweight Championship matchup targeting Dominic and now targeting Rey Mysterio last week. But as we mentioned, Santos has got two big recent losses in the record book, so he's got to bounce back here tonight. It's one thing to get the attention of the Cruiserweight Champion. It's another thing to earn an opportunity. A little tell in due time if Escobar is able to get his hand raised and get back in the win column here tonight. Don't count out Akira Tozawa, former Cruiserweight Champion himself, and a young man with all the abilities to be a champion again here in WWE. As Santos sends him over the top rope, Japan versus Mexico here in Portland tonight. Two amazing cruiserweight athletes going at it on the road to WrestleMania. Less than two weeks away from the grandest stage of them all. Saturday night, February 25th. Sunday night, February 26th. Both will be live premieres at 5 p.m. Eastern time right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. 
As we mentioned earlier, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe as we are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Kira Tozawa off the apron there, taking the fight to Santos, and there you go. You want to talk about ringing your bell? Head first off the ring post goes the leader of Legado del Fantasma. And of course, Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza not out here with Escobar, because as we mentioned earlier, they are set for a tag team matchup later tonight on SmackDown, as they will battle Mustafa Ali and Ricochet in the semifinals of the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. The winners of that match move on to fight Dominic Dijakovic and Damian Priest from Raw in the finals of the tournament on WrestleMania Saturday. And then the winners of that match will meet Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa for the tag team titles on WrestleMania Sunday. Meanwhile, Santos Escobar's got Akira Tozawa all locked up here. You see the arm trapped, the knee trapped, and Tozawa able to battle out of it a little bit, trying to at least, and Escobar has to let his grip go. Here to Zawa, so fast in that ring. Very hard striker. Pump kick takes down Escobar, and Santos gets the shoulder up again. Santos Escobar, former Cruiserweight champion as recently as last June, where he lost the title to the one and only Ricochet at SummerSlam. Ricochet, of course, went on to hold the Cruiserweight Championship up until January 1st at the Royal Rumble, where he was defeated by the current champion, the master of the 619, Rey Mysterio. And Escobar taking Akira Tozawa out, possibly for good. Is that all she wrote? And Tozawa gets the shoulder up again. Escobar's got to get a victory here. If he wants an opportunity at the Cruiserweight Championship, he needs to get his hand raised tonight. And wait a minute. Phantom Driver dead center of the ring. And that'll do it. Santos Escobar gets a much needed victory in the corner of Legado del Fantasma here tonight. And Escobar, as we mentioned, been making some noise as of late on SmackDown. Has he gotten the attention of Rey Mysterio? And was tonight's win enough to earn himself a future championship opportunity? We will find out in due time, but I'm sure the Mysterio family, both Dominic and the champion Rey, are gonna want their retribution on Santos Escobar in the weeks to come. Well, the action continues tonight in Portland as Tyler Bate looks to bounce back after last week's loss against Humberto Carrillo of Los Lotharios, plus Alpha Academy's Otis, one-on-one -on -one with the monster, Braun Strowman. And the results of those contests see Tyler Bate getting his hand raised, getting a little bit of that momentum back after his loss to Walter last week, plus the monster among monsters. Braun Strowman gets the win over the big man of Alpha Academy Otis here tonight in Portland on SmackDown. It is time to continue the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic on the road to the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. We are set for your semifinal affair, and here's how the bracket has played out since the opening round. Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic defeated the New Day this past Monday night. They are moving on to WrestleMania Saturday. But who will they oppose from SmackDown in the finals? We will find out in moments here in Portland. Raul Mendoza and Joaquin Wilde already got some good mojo in the Legado corner after Santos Escobar's victory earlier tonight, but can they get it done in the semis of the 2023 Dusty Classic? And their opponents first from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 182 pounds, Mustafa. And of course, WrestleMania is coming your way Saturday night, February 25th, Sunday night, February 26th. You are not going to want to miss this live premiere weekend. 
Both events taking place at 5 p.m. Eastern time, and you can find them right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Mustafa Ali, a former United States champion, most recent as of December. This tag team tournament has really given Mustafa Ali a new boost that they're coming up short in the Royal Rumble matchup, that they're coming up short in the Elimination Chamber. Ali has got a road to WrestleMania if and only if him and his tag team partner can get through Legato Del Fantasma here tonight. And speaking of said partner, the human highlight reel of Friday Night SmackDown, the one, the only, the former Cruiserweight Champion, Ricochet! And from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! The human highlight reel of Friday nights, mixed with the heart and soul of SmackDown and Mustafa Ali. An incredible pairing. They got it done in the first round over Imperium. And now they meet Legato Del Fantasma tonight. And what again is lying on the line is a spot at the grandest stage of them all. WrestleMania Saturday, where the winners of this matchup meet Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic in a Raw versus SmackDown affair. And then of course the winners of the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic will move right along 24 hours later to WrestleMania Sunday, where they will meet DIY Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa for the WWE World Tag Team Championship. Who is it gonna be? We are gonna find out right here, right now. Mustafa Ali and Ricochet, Legato Del Fantasma mixing it up here in Portland. A whole lot of stakes riding on the line in this contest. What a match it was this past week on Raw. Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic being pushed to their limits by Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods of the New Day, but ultimately the former tag team champions Priest and Dijakovic moving along to WrestleMania. We talked about it then, we'll talk about it again, talk about it again now, how much Priest and Dijakovic I'm sure are gonna get their hands on Gargano and Ciampa, the two men that took away their tag team titles back on January the 1st at the Royal Rumble. So they got their spot on WrestleMania Saturday, but who will oppose them? And it's gonna be one of these two teams before our very eyes. And again, you gotta believe both these teams coming in with some solid momentum tonight. Of course, their first round victories. And then moments ago, Legado Del Fantasma's leader, Santos Escobar, picking up that big win over Akira Tozawa. Even playing field tonight in Portland on SmackDown, but only one team can move on to the show of shows. And right now, Ricochet is looking good over Joaquin Wild and the human highlight reel. Look at a showcase why we call him just that. Moonsault. And immediately into the cover. And will that do it early? Joaquin Wild gets his shoulder up. We talked about it earlier tonight, but Ricochet, he held the Cruiserweight Championship from June 26, 2022, all the way up till January the 1st of this year. A amazing reign for the one and only. Former championship aspirations recently in that young man's career. Mustafa Ali also held the United States Championship, didn't have his best of luck as Ricochet. Only held that title for nine days between the SmackDown All-Star kickoff and Saturday night's main event back in December. But nonetheless, these two former champions who really came together through mutual respect. Remember Ricochet and Ali had faced an Elimination Chamber qualifying match that Ali won. And now this opportunity arises in the tournament and they're taking full advantage. Mendoza to the outside. And Ricochet doing what he does best over the top rope, down to the floor, take flight, does the one and only. And Mendoza on spaghetti legs right now. Ricochet sends him back into the ring and Ricochet is looking to put this thing away here on SmackDown. But Mendoza getting back into it, unloading on Ricochet. Not the first time Ricochet has locked horns with these two men. Battled both of them in the lead up to his matchup with Santos Escobar all the way back at SummerSlam last year. And there's a tag to Mustafa Ali. Ricochet's got the momentum in the corner of his team right now. 
Now Lee off that senton takes down Mendoza. Nice forearm, follows it up with a drop kick. Four cruiserweight wrestlers inside that squared circle right now. We'll face off with two all-around athletes in Priest and Dijakovic at WrestleMania. Mendoza trying to get to Legato corner, but Ali having none of it. There's a counter by Mendoza here. Pop up. Frankensteiner takes down Ali. Now a much-needed tag for Raul Mendoza, if you ask me, to Joaquin Wild. And Ali charging at him here. Grabbing a hold. Sends him into Legato territory there. And an overhand shot, Ali. Make it three of them right there. Throwing a little bit of everything at Legato del Fantasma tonight. Going high risk, going hard striking. All in the means to wrestle at the show of shows. A nice swinging neck breaker by the former United States champion. 2022 was a career resurgence year for Mustafa Ali and himself as well as Ricochet looking to make sure 2023 is just as good. Look at this. Double team maneuver squashing Joaquin Wilde in the corner. And now Ricochet into the bridge, into the cover. Will that be all she wrote? Referee a little out of position here and Ricochet not able to put Joaquin Wilde, Joaquin Wilde excuse me, away just yet. That was great tag team offense there by a newer team of the SmackDown tag team division as Ricochet tries to send Joaquin Wilde over the top rope, but Wilde with a counter. Former NXT Tag Team Champions in there, Legato is. And obviously the more experienced team compared to Ricochet and Ali. Ricochet, Ricochet trying to make sure the momentum stays in his corner right now. Look at this springboard, moonsault there. And again, Ricochet proving why we call him the human highlight reel of the blue brand. Here we go, springboard, Phoenix, splash, Ricochet throwing everything in the kitchen sink at Wild, but still not enough to keep Legato del Fantasma out for good. What a series of moves that was by Ricochet. First the springboard moonsault, the shooting star press, and the springboard Phoenix splash. Ricochet doing everything he can here to try to put down Wild, and unfortunately for Ricochet and Ali, Legato was saved by the ropes there moments ago. And a tag made to Raul Mendoza. Ricochet got them both on that shot in the forearm to Raul Mendoza. What is it going to take to keep one of these teams down? Legato's got to get back into this. Oh, man. Got caught off the shooting star press. Ricochet and Ali are definitely putting on a showcase tonight. They have been in the driver's seat, I'd say, 80% of this matchup thus far. Don't count out Legato. As we mentioned, former NXT Tag Team Champions and the more experienced team out of these two duos. But right now, they do not have an answer for Ricochet and Ali, and it is going to cost them in the long run if they could not get back into this match. And there's a counter there by Mendoza. Nice kick there to Ricochet. And here he goes. Down he goes. And Mendoza now going to tag in Wild. Legato del Fantasma. Now or never to secure their spot on WrestleMania. Wild going over. Oh, but there's a counter by Ricochet and drives him down to the canvas. Don't count out Ricochet's strength. One of the stronger cruiserweights in the cruiserweight division if you had to choose. And a clothesline there gets him out of trouble. And a drop kick takes Mendoza off his feet. Ricochet has got a plan tonight and himself as well as Mustafa Ali are executing it to perfection. Goes for the moonsault and he nails it flush. And now Ricochet, the one and only, heads to where he's most comfortable on the top rope, taking it to the sky with another Phoenix splash. That has got to do it. No, not just yet. Legato del Fantasma lives on another moment. You got to give them credit. You might not like their attitude. You certainly might not like their leader, Santos Escobar. But they are taking a beating and still fighting in this match. But what a showcase this is for Ricochet and Ali. I mean, they're pulling everything that they possibly got. And into the cover off the bridge, and Mendoza saves the day for Legato and company. Now Mendoza, not the legal man right now, but at least trying to take Ricochet's eye off the ball to no avail. There's a tag made 
to Mustafa Ali. Getting some fresh legs inside the squared circle. Mendoza tried going after Ali, and Ali caught him with the tornado. And Ali there, taking down Joaquin Wilde. Nice senton by the former United States champion. The heart and soul of the blue brand, Mustafa Ali. There's a counter by Joaquin Wilde. Avoiding the drop kick there, goes for the chop Ali with one of his own. It is now or never. I mean, we mentioned that a few moments ago, but it really is getting into deep waters in this matchup, and Legato has got no answer for these two men, Ali and Ricochet. And Ali is heading to the top rope. Drop with the dime. Leg drop to the heart of Joaquin Wilde into the cover. And Ali and Ricochet are going to WrestleMania. Legato Lampfield. Del Fantasma had no answer tonight. If they had a plan, it did not work out in their favor. Ricochet and Mustafa Ali were operating on all cylinders and they have punched their ticket to the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania Saturday. Well, it has been an amazing 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic so far. There's the bracket, and there is the result. The, or excuse me, the finals are set for WrestleMania Saturday. Monday Night Rolls, Dominic Dijakovic and Damian Priest take on SmackDown's Ricochet and Mustafa Ali, who will win the tournament and move on to fight DIY on WrestleMania Sunday. The grandest stage of them all comes your way Saturday night, February 25th, and Sunday night, February 26th, both at 5 p.m. Eastern time. It is a live premiere weekend for WrestleMania. And officially signed for WrestleMania Saturday, the Cruiserweight Championship will be defended. Rey Mysterio, Santos Escobar. What a matchup this is going to be. Two legends of Lucha Libre collide for the Cruiserweight Championship of the world. As we find out... Moments ago, the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic Finals are set. Dijakovic and Priest from Raw. Ricochet and Ali from SmackDown. Who's moving on to WrestleMania Sunday? Coming your way from Monday Night Raw. What a collision for the first time ever. The Nigerian giant, Omos, takes on the Beast Incarnate. The alpha male of our species, Brock Lesnar. Also from Raw, the Intercontinental Championship set to be defended as the invincible Ilya Dragunov battles it out with the Bruiserweight. Pete Dunne, two former NXT UK champs meet up for the Intercontinental Gold on WrestleMania Saturday. And of course, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, is on his way back to World Wrestling Entertainment and he returns on Saturday night at WrestleMania. And the main event, of WrestleMania Saturday, courtesy of Friday Night SmackDown, the number one contender, Drew McIntyre, one-on-one -on -one with the visionary, the revolutionary, and most importantly, the world champion, Seth freaking Rollins. The WWE Tag Team Championships will be defended on WrestleMania Sunday. Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa won the gold at the Royal Rumble. Who will win the Dusty Classic and oppose them on WrestleMania Sunday? The WWE Championship of the Women's Division will be on the line as the number one contender, the man, Becky Lynch, battles it out with the dominant Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, and old rivals renewed one-on-one -on -one at Mania. As we found out last week on SmackDown, the United States Championship is on the line. For the first time ever, the almighty Bobby Lashley puts the gold up against Imperium's ring general, Walter. And it was officially accepted earlier tonight. And for the first time ever on WrestleMania Sunday, the glorious one gets his wish. It is Robert Roode, one-on-one -on -one with the franchise of WWE, John Cena. A tag team grudge match from Monday Night Raw. The rated R superstar, Edge, and an old rival, AJ Styles, put their differences aside, looking to settle the score with the Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn regime. And the main event of WrestleMania Sunday, also from Monday Night Raw, 
the WWE Championship is on the line. 2023 Royal Rumble match winner Matt Riddle against his old tag team partner of RK Bro, Randy Orton, for the most prestigious prize in the business, the WWE Championship. All that and more coming your way, WrestleMania weekend, but it is time for your main event here in Portland. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Recluse, Wyoming. Weighing in at 239 pounds, Dexter Loomis. Before we focus in on this main event, Breaking news just signed for next week on SmackDown. John Cena is back in action and a tall task ahead as he battles it out with the big man, Commander Aziz, next week on SmackDown. And this man, Dexter Loomis, is strange and unusual and downright dangerous, is hot off a victory in a Falls Count Anywhere match this past week on Saturday night's main event against Happy Corbin, putting that issue behind him. Now Dexter with an opportunity ahead. One-on-one -on -one with the World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins. And the question really is, is Seth Rollins' mind already in Tampa Bay for WrestleMania? Is he already focusing on Drew McIntyre? And is he overlooking Dexter Loomis? And if that is the case, Dexter Loomis may be able to capitalize, defeat the World Champion tonight, and possibly put himself in line for an opportunity at the big gold belt after WrestleMania. But nonetheless, here comes the visionary, the revolutionary, and most importantly, the world heavyweight champion, Seth Freaking Rollins. Main event time here in Portland. And his opponent from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds. The World Heavyweight Champion, Seth Rollins! Rollins won that gold back on December the 9th at the All-Star kickoff of Friday Night SmackDown in Sin City, Las Vegas. Since then, he has successfully retained against John Cena at the Royal Rumble, and then most recently against Dolph Ziggler in Anaheim at the Elimination Chamber. And Rollins has his hands full with the man who outlasted five other competitors inside the Elimination Chamber and punched his ticket to WrestleMania. That being the Scottish Warrior, the Chosen One, and a former WWE Champion in his own right, Drew McIntyre. McIntyre had a rough year in 2022, came up short in a lot of big match situations. And I'm sure that is reeling in the mind of McIntyre and he's looking to turn things around officially at WrestleMania, you gotta wonder if Seth Rollins is gonna pry on the mindset of Drew McIntyre come WrestleMania. We will tell in due time they are the main event on Saturday night, February 25th, but right now Rollins has got his hands full with Dexter Loomis as Loomis dropped toe hold to the World Heavyweight Champion. Dexter has a very interesting cold and calculating and quite frankly hard hitting as he's showcasing right here offense. Dexter, you know, we can talk about how strange and mysterious he is all we want, but at the end of the day, he knows how to get it done. He knows how to just get his hand raised. He passed out, tapped out Happy Corbin at the top of the stage in the Falls Count Anywhere match this past week in Atlanta on Saturday night's main event. And now one-on-one -on -one with Rollins tonight. Just imagine how Seth Rollins would react if Dexter Loomis picks up this upset tonight. Where would that put Seth Rollins mentally on the road to WrestleMania? And where would that place Dexter Loomis in the running for future world championship contention? You gotta believe he'd be next up after the result of Drew McIntyre versus Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. Nonetheless, Loomis bringing the fight to the world champion right now. Rollins hot off a victory. What was a Royal Rumble non-title rematch against John Cena a few weeks ago. Which of course, we showed you what happened in that matchup earlier tonight. Robert Roode distracted John Cena. And what a matchup that is going to be. Officially signed for WrestleMania Sunday. The first time they have ever gone one-on-one -on -one in their careers. John Cena versus Robert Roode. That is going to be a huge matchup. Roode gets his wish. John Cena will be back on the grandest stage of them all. 
Of course, we will be in action here on SmackDown next week. One-on-one -on -one with the big man, Commander Aziz. Should be a hell of a fight as Rollins driving Dexter Loomis into the middle turnbuckle. The World Heavyweight Champion has got Dexter Loomis in a predicament right now, but there's a counter by Loomis as he takes out the knee of the champ. Oh, wait a minute, Rollins. Small package here trying to steal the victory. Any means necessary to get the win, but Loomis gets the shoulder up. Seth Rollins again, grounded and pounded on Dexter Loomis. He does not want to take a loss so close to WrestleMania, just 12 days until Rollins defends the World Heavyweight Championship. Not believe it is this close to WrestleMania. What a year it has been since we kicked off this season of Universe Mode last March. As we mentioned before, Universe Mode, all these stories, these shows, these incredible matches will continue just a few weeks after WrestleMania. So stay tuned to the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Be sure to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. Rollins driving Dexter Lewis right into the canvas. Had him hooked for a pinfall there, but ne neglected it. He goes for the snap suplex instead. Rollins goes for the kick. Dexter with a counter and brings him in with a clothesline. Dexter's got to keep fighting the world champion, though. You can't keep your eye off the ball, and Rollins takes advantage. Neck breaker to Loomis, and now the world heavyweight champion is heading to the top rope. Frog splash on Loomis. And Seth Rollins may have Dexter right where he wants him. Curb stomp by the world heavyweight champion into the cover. And that has got to do it. Here in Portland, yes it does. Seth Rollins builds momentum towards WrestleMania and makes an emphatic statement towards Drew McIntyre. The Dexter put up a fight, but the World Heavyweight Champion, we've said it before, we'll say it again, is just operating on a whole different level than quite frankly, possibly anybody here in WWE. Here is your And although Drew McIntyre is riding the momentum of the Elimination Chamber, it is not going to be an easy task when he goes one-on-one -on -one with Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship at the grit. Wait a minute, McIntyre, McIntyre hit the ring! Claymore kick out of nowhere! Holy hell! McIntyre came out of nowhere and just turned the lights off on the World Heavyweight Champion! The stage is set Saturday night, February 25th at WrestleMania. The chosen one, the Messiah, the visionary versus the warrior for the world heavyweight title. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.